Life in the Temperate Region Temperate grasslands of the world are located roughly between 15 degree and 30 degree latitudes in both the hemispheres in the interiors of the continent. These are regions of temperate grasslands. These grasslands provide good pastures. The fertile soil and flat land can also support a variety of crops. The temperate grasslands of the world are known with specific names like prairies in North America, steepies in Russia, wilds in South Africa, pampas in South America and downs in Australia. In this lesson, we will learn about the life and activities of the people of prairies in North America and wilds in South Africa. The Prairies Temperate grasslands are known as prairies in North America. These are the famous grasslands of Canada and USA which are located between the Rockies in the west and the Great Lakes in the east. They cover areas of Alberta, Wisconsin, Montana, Saskatchewan and Iowa in USA. The nutritious green grass forms a beautiful carpet and the fertile plains are treeless and have the best soils in the world. Some trees are found along the watercourses and others are specially planted around the dwellings of the farmers. Land and Climate The prairies in North America have level or slightly rolling terrain which rises gently towards the west. In the USA, the area is drained by the tributaries of Mississippi and the Canadian prairies are drained by the tributaries of Saskatchewan rivers. The region experiences continental type of climate with extreme temperatures. As the temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius, the summers are warm, whereas in winters, the temperature is low as minus 20 degrees Celsius, recorded at Winnipeg in Canada. A thick blanket of snow covers the region in winters. The annual rainfall is moderate, which is ideal for the growth of grass. Most of the rainfall takes place in springs and summers, usually in form of light showers. The absence of north-south barrier facilitates the blowing of a local wind called Chinook. There is snowfall in winters. Vegetation and Wildlife Although most of the region is treeless, the areas where water is available, trees such as poplars, alders and willows are found in the mountain slopes and river valleys. Tall grasses are found in the more humid prairies and short grasses are found in the drier western parts. Places that receive rainfall of over 50 cm are suitable for farming as the soil is fertile. Much of the original grasslands have now been converted into farmlands for growing crops or rearing animals. Though the major crops of this area are wheat and maize, other crops including soya bean, cotton, potatoes and alfalfa is grown. Areas with low rainfall are suitable for cattle rearing. In Canada, the wheat is sown in the spring season, which is ready within 100 days. Moisture is provided by the melting of the ice in the spring. Most of the wheat known as spring wheat is exported to other countries. In USA, another variety of wheat called winter wheat is grown because the winters in the southern parts of prairies are less severe. Cattle rearing is common and large cattle farms called ranches are the places where cattle are reared and looked after by farmhands called from place to place mounted on horseback. Wildlife is quite rich as animals like rabbits, dogs, coyotes, rattlesnakes, hawks and larks are found here. Insects like flies and grasshoppers are quite abundant. Some animals like American bisons are greatly reduced due to indiscriminate hunting and has now become a protected species. People People are very hardworking and have harnessed technology to utilize their rich natural resources. Scientific methods of cultivation and use of tractors, harvesters and combines has made this region a surplus food producer. This is why they are called the granaries of the world. Most of the produce is sold as farming is commercial in nature. 
apart from wheat and corn, other crops grown include barley, oats, flax and oil seeds. Around the cities, farmers grow vegetables for the local market. Dairy farming is another major industry. Dairy cattle are reared on the taller and more nutritious grasses of eastern prairies. Dairy farms are usually located near the cities where the products find a ready market. Large quantities of milk, butter and cheese is produced. Both Canada and the USA export dairy products. Dairy farming and extensive agriculture both promote setting up of food processing industries. Sometimes the growing of crops and rearing of animals is carried out on the same field and is called mixed farming. The region is rich in mineral deposits. Gold, silver, copper and zinc are found here. Huge iron deposits are found near Lake Superior. Coal is found along the foothills of the Rocky Mountains and uranium is also found here. Large mineral deposits and a good network of roads, railways and canals in this region have made it the most industrialized region in the world. Prairies were earlier inhabited by American Indians known as Red Indians. They were organized into tribes such as Pawnee, the Crow, the Cree and the Apache. These tribes depend on hunting, primitive farming and herding of animals. In modern times, population of prairies is concentrated in the large city, the Weld. Weld means field in Dutch, which is a name for the temperate grasslands of southeastern Africa. As this part of Africa had remained under the Dutch colonial rule, it has acquired the Dutch name. The Weld is found on the plateau region between the Drakensberg Mountains on the east and Kalahari Desert on the west. The northeastern part of the plateau is called the High Weld. The Witwaters Rand, Walter Silulu National Botanical Garden, also called the Rand, cuts across the High Weld through Johannesburg. Land and Climate The Weld lies on a plateau which forms a series of steps. Lying just west of the Drakensberg, the elevation in the high weld varies from 1200 meter to 1800 meter. The high weld descends to the mid weld with elevations between 1200 meter and 600 meter towards the south and northeast. Then in the northeast, the mid weld descends into low weld with elevations between 600 meter and 150 meter. Some of the rivers that flow through the weld are the Limpopo, the Sabi and the Orange and its tributaries, the Waal. There are waterfalls where the rivers descend the steps formed by the plateau. The welds have a mild climate due to the influence of the Indian Ocean. Winters are cold and dry and summers are short and warm. Temperatures vary between 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius and July is the coldest month. Frost occurs here for some days during winters. People The most important occupation of the people here is cattle or sheep rearing. Sheep is bred mainly for wool and has given rise to wool industry in the wells. Angora goats, merino sheep are the popular species and their wool is quite warm. Dairy farming is the next important occupation. Cattle are reared in the warmer and wetter regions. Butter and cheese are produced both for domestic supply as well as for exports. Johannesburg is the biggest city of the area and also an important commercial and industrial centre. The most important occupation for the people in this area is gold and diamond mining. Kimberley is another centre for diamond mining. Mining of gold and diamond in South Africa led to the establishment of trade ties with Britain and gradually South Africa became a British colony. It is now a democratic country. The major cities and towns of the world are connected by roads and railways. Both domestic and international air services are available. Johannesburg is an important international airport. Pretoria 
is the administrative capital of South Africa. Kimberley is the most important center of the world in diamond industry. Zimbabwe was a British colony in South Africa. Its capital, Harare, and Bulawayo are well connected by rail, road, and air transport. Trivia Grasslands are considered as the transitional biome. This means grasslands are usually found between the desert and the forest. It may become forest if it would receive more rain and in case of less rain, it might turn to desert.